Hi. Now let me discuss about models of teaching. What is models of teaching? From the beginning I can say models of teaching is actually the name of a book and that book is written by Joyce Bruce and Marshall. The book is discussing about teaching models. Teaching model means is an instructional design. Instructional design based on a learning theory, any of the learning theory. The learning theories are designed, de developed by many psychologists like Piaget, Bruner, everybody have developed learning theories. And based on this developed learning theories, an instructional design has modified or developed by Joyce Bush and Marsha Weil and that is called a teaching model. A teaching model is an instructional design, a frame of instruction using in a classroom to take a topic based on any of the psychological learning theory. The models of teaching are classified into four types and these types are called families of models. These four types are based on the psychological theory that means depend upon the type of the psychological theory. There have psychological theories that is discussing behavioral psychology, there have social psychology, I mean social learning theories, there have cognitive learning theories, there have personal or personality learning theories. Based on the theories, it is categorized as different types of uh, models of teaching and these types are called families of models of teaching. Based on the behavioral psychological theories, it is developed certain models and they are called the behavioral systems family. Based on the social psychological theories, certain teaching models are developed and they are called the social family. Based on the cognitive psychological theory, certain models are developed and they are called information systems family. And based on the personal learning theories, it is called personal family. So these are the four families or types of models. The models are four in types and these types are called families. They are behavioral systems, social family, information systems and personal family. You can see some examples for that. In behavioral systems family, it is coming the mastery learning model that is developed based on Benjamin Bloom's psychological theory, mastery learning. In social systems family, you can see some more examples like jurisprudential inquiry model, group investigation model, etc. These are based on the psychological theories of Oliver and Shaver, Donald Oliver and Shaver jurisprudential inquiry model. John Dewey's theory has found the way for developing group investigation model. And information processing family is the most popularly used family. Advanced organizer model based on David Rosenberg's receptive learning or a, a meaningful verbal learning. And the Brunner's uh, theory has found the way for concept attainment model. And in personal family it becomes self-esteem model that is of Abraham Maslow. These are some examples only. But over the model, you can see a teaching model have certain elements. But over the model, either it is a model from social family or model from behavioral systems family or model from uh, any other two family, you can see one element, sorry, uh, some elements or some aspects of models of teaching. These elements are called social system, support system, principles of reaction, instructional effects, nurturing effects or nurturant effects and syntax. What is that? What is, uh, what do you mean by this one? I mean the elements of teaching. Just I would like to go through this one. That is uh, elements of teaching means Social system means the atmosphere of the, uh, the classroom, whether the classroom is so liberal, democratic atmosphere, authentic atmosphere like that. 
and it can be called a highly structured atmosphere moderately structured atmosphere loosely structured so the atmosphere of the classroom is normally called as social system family support system means almost teaching learning supports we can simply call it as teaching learning aids that is nothing but support system then principles of reaction means it is the dealing of teacher pupil reactions how the teacher deals with the pupils how the teacher interacts with the doubts of the pupil like that it is the principles of the reaction that teacher says and instructional effect it is nothing but the learning outcomes or what effects that make by the instruction it is like instructional objectives nurturing effects means they are very wide the long aims of education for example if you are teaching about the history of india a freedom struggle uh, instructional effects are different from nurturing effects or nurturing effects by the nurturing effect it means that the students will develop their idea on international understanding or national integration like that they may develop more patriotic sense so and so syntax syntax is nothing but the totality of the learning teaching experiences that can be settled in the classroom whatever the teaching learning experiences may come in this syntax so these are the major elements of modes of teaching i think you can have a brief picture of all these things for example uh, just you see this one a teaching model is actually discussing in the book modes of teaching that is written by bruce and wade then uh, there how different types of models mainly four they are behavioral systems family social family information systems family and personal family there how examples you can see for each uh, family and finally there how elements of teaching model then we have to discuss how each model can be uh, designed for taking the class in classroom actual classroom atmosphere see you then after some time